as Jesus is getting closer to his time of passion in the 24th chapter here of Matthew's Gospel, we start to get these uh, speeches from him uh, warning his disciples about uh, he is going to be coming again in time and he wants to be sure that uh, they are ready for him, that they are doing his good work uh, while he is separated from them when he goes to the Father in heaven. Paul's concern was the same, and Paul and his struggles to keep all the churches he established to be one, to be united in what he taught, to stay true to the path, to love one another, to be practicing all those wonderful virtues. Uh, he struggled seeing his communities constantly falling apart, constantly uh, falling into temptations to selfishness and self-centeredness and not sharing uh, their resources as he had taught them to do. And so we have that sense of the warning is given, you know, that you don't know when the Lord is coming. I don't know, you don't know, no one knows at what point our lives will be, uh, accounting of our lives will be demanded of us. As I stand here today with you, I have not been listening since about 5.30 this morning. I haven't heard any news, but I know that this hurricane Laura, I believe it's called, hit the uh, more western coast area of Louisiana. And I assure you, those people living on the bayous and living down there on the shore area uh, have a sense, a strong sense of that idea that you don't know exactly when the Lord's coming. And some, I'm sure, have been facing that trial right now. So we pray for them, of course, and we pray for all of us in our own day-to-day -day lives that we are sensitive, aware, ultimately, what our destiny is, that we're called to be one with our Lord Jesus. And the way we accomplish that is how we live now in this time of the kingdom not being fully established yet, but the, the beginnings of the kingdom are here, and we're responsible uh, to act as such, to continue that way of living. Uh, some people cleverly have taken the G off of the word kingdom and call it the kingdom. And it is kind of appropriate that what Jesus is establishing is that sense that we're all brothers and sisters, we're all kin to one another. And this is what is the message is today, that sense of uh, just because you're not, uh, you think you can't be seen or you think that something's not going to happen, it doesn't mean that you are allowed to do whatever you want, as like a little kid would do when mom or dad sneaks off and they don't see them. Uh, we are being watched and we are being, our, we're watching ourselves. Our own integrity is at stake. So we pray for that grace today to know this in our hearts and minds. We pray for a sense of living in a way that we know uh, the Lord could be calling us anytime, any moment. Uh, and we pray that when he does, uh, we will be ready.